Also tonight, we're learning new details about a deadly road rage crash that killed a Grand Rapids woman. It happened June 25th on Lake Michigan Drive near Trillium Drive in Talmadge Township. Today, News 8's Demetria Sanders spoke with the Ottawa County Sheriff's Office, and he has more on what they're saying about the incident and the charges. It was near this intersection where that crash happened, taking the life of a 27-year-old woman, and the Ottawa County Sheriff's Office says these types of incidents can be prevented. Another senseless, violent act from road rage. Now this lady is dead. 23-year-old Ethan Oosterhouse from Middleville and 42-year-old Dennis Perez from Grand Rapids are facing charges, including second-degree murder, manslaughter, and reckless driving causing death. According to a transcript from a probable cause hearing, on June 25th, deputies say a Jeep Cherokee driven by Oosterhouse and a Dodge Charger driven by Perez were involved in aggressive road rage-style driving while traveling eastbound on Lake Michigan Drive. Witnesses said this included speeding, passing on the shoulder and brake checking for three miles. This led to a collision involving Perez and Oosterhouse, who are accused of driving more than 80 miles per hour. That collision caused Perez's car to enter the westbound lanes where it struck a vehicle driven by 27-year-old Shatera Coleman, who died as a result of a head-on crash. Now, in court, deputies said Oosterhouse admitted to having a poor driving record with prior road rage incidents in Berrien County, also stating that once he's in involved in these types of incidents, he can't let go. Apparently, he does this all the time. The Ottawa County Sheriff's Office says this highlights the danger of reckless driving and road rage. Very tragic for everyone involved. I guess I would encourage everybody out there and just tell them it's not worth it driving like that or getting um, that frustrated or upset by another driver. Um, it's just not worth uh, getting injured, hurting yourself, hurting someone else, or um, in this case, uh, taking somebody else's life. Coming up at 6, I'll share what Captain Spark says drivers should do if they find themselves in the middle of road rage. In Ottawa County, Demetria Sanders, News 8.